Joining us live from the set of The Chase, it's Bradley Walsh. Morning, Bradley. Morning, Bradley. Yeah, oh, there he is, Bradley. Really Morning, one sec, I'll be back. Hey, uh, one sec, one sec, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Hello, I'm on darling. My way. There sorry. he is. We're just... So, hello, loves. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, we are in the middle of making The Chase. So we've stopped to talk to you. And uh, when I say The Chase, I mean the... Ba was it the BAFTA award winning? Yeah, BAFTA award and NTA award winning. <laughs> I saw you, Ali, last night doing your stuff. Very, very good. <laughs> I know you said you should have won that award. You should have won on your own. I should have won on my own. Do you, know, do you know what? I'm telling you, first of all, to be in that category was amazing. But to be in the category with you, Mr Bradley Walsh, was incredible. <laughs> I tell you what, I missed out, I missed out, uh, seriously, seriously missed out only by a whisker because at three o'clock I went down to Somerset House and changed my name by deed poll to Anthony Deppin Donnelly <laughs> McCartlin and I just, and I, and I, and I got by a whisker, I didn't get it in in time. I didn't get it in time, but it was brilliant. It was a lovely night, Fan, you, yeah. you were so funny. You oh, were brilliant. Great, you were brilliant. You? Yeah, great stuff. So, Bradley, so the chase, how's it going Anyway, today? what you, you got to talk about, I want, I've got to get on, love. Yeah, tell us what you what are you doing? What are you doing today? Yeah, what are you doing? Three of those a day. <laughs> we're making we're making the chase today, uh, the daytime gig, and um, and and that's it. You I can't believe you do a day, Brad. Today, do you, you do three, yeah? It does three shows a day. I can't yeah, believe it. Three a day, Dermot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three a day. We start at four o'clock in the morning, finish about six at night. <laughs> That's the team today, and all the question team. So we're literally in the middle of. We're just going to go to a final chase right now. Make a final chase. Who do you but, think um, is the perfect I just wanted contestant? To come on. Oh, he's not listening. Who do you think the perfect contestant for your show is? Uh, well, <laughs> just one who's going to have fun, banter, and sort of knows a bit of general knowledge, really, and and that's basically it. Yeah. So it's. You know, it's a, it's a great show. It's fantastic format. I love it's it. Fantastic format. But listen, I've come on to talk <laughs> about. Well, you must come on. You must come on, and you, Dermot. I'd love uh, that. on the celeb shows. But uh, I've come on to talk about the um, the Larkins, of course. Yes, which it's very exciting. On Sunday night. Brad, don't yeah. worry, we're all over it. Don't worry. We're, we're just going to do a little bit of chase banter first. We're getting to the Larkins. He wants to get back to he, work. He doesn't. He's like, I've he got wants, things to do. He wants to, do, to get up to do his promo, doesn't he? He's like, <laughs> I don't want to be hanging around here on this morning. <laughs> I've got things doing. So go on then. Talk about the second <laughs> series. Uh, where we find ourselves in the, at the end of the last series, and, and what we got to uh, to expect with this series. OK, so Char Charlie, Marriott and Charlie go off to France. Uh, that's all good. Uh, Ma, uh, Ma and Pop, they're, they're sort of very upset that a person, you know, one of their family, close-knit family, has flown the nest. This series starts off with the wonderful Lydia Page as Primrose and uh, Maximise as the new uh, vicar, and that's the lover interest. And there's a, there's a major arc going all the way through uh, the series with the new neighbours that live in Bluff Court, and there's a lot of conflict between the two families, and Pop especially, and Mrs Jeroboam and Mr Jeroboam, played by Julia Rintut and Morgana Robinson. We got the new... We got the Miller girls in it as well, uh, playing the twins, and Joel Ray uh, comes into the show to take over the part of Mariette. So uh, we got a wonderful ensemble cast, Amelia Bullmore, Chris, and all the rest of the gang. It's, it's, fa it's an absolute joy to work on. It Not really bad. is. I Not love bad. it. And... Uh, the thing is, for those people that watch it with a sense of nostalgia, it's wonderful because it really actually does transport you back into that day and that time. And it's wonderful because we, we film on location down in Kent on a farm and it's just the most idyllic place. It truly is. You'd love it. You'd love it. You should come down and do a piece uh, from it when we film again. You we really should. should. We fantastic. should. Well, to get into yeah. the larking mood, uh, Bradley, we've got a little clip. Let's go to our clip. Oh, my favourite people. Talking to Alec and Norma. <laughs> That's a howler you lot have made, selling Bluff Court to the Jeroboams. Oh, why is that, Alec? <laughs> Obviously, they're your social superiors. What's that actually mean, Norma? Let us put it in words you'll understand. You're like jackals living next to a pride of lions. Mm -hmm. Well, in this fairy tale animal hierarchy of yours, what's that make you two? Oh, I suppose we're. Um, dung beetles. No, we're not dung beetles. Bats. <sighs> I'm thinking turkeys. <laughs> Stop them comparing us to ugly animals, Alec. And Brad, you love you love this character so much, yeah, don't you? Fantastic. You know, you you know you you, you love oh, Pop love and you base them I... on your friends. And tell us the story about the, your hat as well, your grandfather's. 
Ah, uh, right, yeah. So you're right, Dermot. I have based um, pop in some characteristics on a couple of friends of mine. They know who they are. Um, but uh, the, my grandfather's hat, my grandfather, Danny, my dad's name was Danny, and uh, my grandfather's name was Daniel, and that's his hat from just after the turn of the Second World War. Right. And it was when he passed away, my uncle uh, Louis uh, said, do you want anything? And I said, yeah, please. And I just, and uh, I took the hat. And I said, that's all I wanted. Because I used to wear it as a young Aww. kid when I was a kid, when I used to go and visit my granddad. And so, um, yeah, I took the hat, I kept it. And the chance came around to get, thank you, your to ITV, to give me the part of Pop Larkin. And everyone down at Objective Fiction, they gave me the part. And so I said, can I please wear this hat? They said, absolutely. So, yeah, it's part of my grandfather. So oh, it's, that's, that's a wonderful so thing. so nice. And, um, yeah, brilliant. No, I really like it. Imagine yeah, how really proud like he it. would be of you, Bradley, the fact that you can just turn your hands to anything, acting, quiz master. You are one of the best, aren't you? How proud would he be? Oh, uh, well, it's very... That's a lovely thing for you to say, Ali. Uh, but I think they'd all be, all be proud, you know. And, but that's a wonderful thing as well, you know. You'd, I always maintain... Um, and I know earlier on in the show you were talking to some people there sadly lost their partners or their wives, husbands and stuff like that. I maintain that your loved ones are with you the whole time anyway. So I always talk about everyone in uh, the present tense. Do you know what I mean? I always wonder what my... I mean, my dad passed away in 1993, and, um, but I always wonder what he's doing now. And I often say that, do you know what I mean? I wonder mm. what he's doing now and I wonder where he is now and where, you know, he'll be with his pals probably, I don't know down the pub or something, whatever he is. But, so I always talk about everyone in the present tense and I think uh, they are with you the whole time. Well, that's so lovely you carry on that relationship with your son as well. Yeah. I saw him last night, he's the smasher, isn't he? And yeah. uh, has the new, have you done Hell the new... Yeah, you, Barnes, filmed, yeah. you, you just filmed the new series of Breaking Dad, is that right? Yeah, Dern, we, went, we did the first leg of it. We went to Mexico, then uh, Guatemala, and then we finished the, they finished the run in uh, December. I think we're going to places like Panama and Central, some other places in Central America. I don't really... I'm the last one, I'm the last one to know. So they, I let them sort it out, and then I just turn up and they get thrown off of buildings. <laughs> and uh, that's basically what happens to me. But what I don't I think love you that realise... It's so, it's it's so, 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 so good. Lovely. And I don't think you realise that it actually yeah, brings families great. together. Me and my son, we don't normally watch TV together, but that is the one well, show nice. we will actually watch together. Yeah, yeah. So you need to know that you are bringing families yeah. together and that's a lovely thing. And is it true you're going you're to be hosting gladiators well, with his son as well? Is that true? I d Say again, Ali? Apparently, you're going to be hosting gladiators with your son. Ah, uh, yeah, we've heard all about that too. Uh, <laughs> we've got no idea. Nothing's, nothing's been fi official. So but oh, we, we hear all sorts of things. I mean, I've, I've, heard, I've heard that I'm coming into on Friday mornings with you two now and sit yeah, as your it's stooge. True. <laughs> it's true, apparently. It's true, though. That is actually Come true. Come on in. Any day of the week, we'll have you. <laughs> All right. What is you drinking there, Dermot? What are you drinking, vodka? <laughs> well, no, that's, that's, in a, that's in a minute. I'm just, <laughs> just rehydration, mate, you know. He's rehydrating after yeah, last good night, for you, mate. That's good a story for you. anyway, all right? Did you, go, did you go to the after show? Did you go to the after show party? Did you go? He we did. did for a little bit, yeah. <laughs> You did, you did. See, I went home. Good I went boy. Home. Yeah. See, Good boy. Go See, you're on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, he takes his job right. very seriously, oh. you see. Bradley Walsh, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. The Chase is on every weeknight at 5pm on ITV. And the new series of The Larkin starts this Sunday night at 8pm on ITV. You are smashing Thanks, Brad. it. We love you, darling. Thanks. And you, Ali. Cheers, Derm. Lots Take of love care. to you both. God bless, mate. Bye-bye. All right. Uh,